friends, welcome to another beautiful edition of Annie Otter's channel. In today's edition, I'm going to be talking about common mistakes young guys make during dating and courtship. So if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed, please hit the red button that says subscribe and you will be one of the very first people that will know when I post something. Alright, so let's get on to the common mistakes guys make during dating and courtship. All right, in no particular order, my number one is misplaced priority. All right, I know beauty is a very good thing, or very, very interesting in young girls, but again, that's a lot of mistake in there, okay? So most young guys make that mistake of placing beauty over character, over attitude, over behavior. Sometimes it doesn't go well because beauty without behavior for me is a zero. It's a no, no, no. So young guys, before you approach a girl, know a little bit about them. Go beyond physical attraction. Apart from beauty, what else can they offer you? Can they give you peace of mind? Can they give you... Um, happiness is there love is there any other attraction apart from physical attraction so these are the things young guys need to know before going into a relationship okay so another thing i want to talk about my number two is giving in all out very quickly and very fast okay so young guys some, sometimes young guys just jump into a relationship and they want to go all the way very quickly so i'm advising today for them to take a break Take your time, know this girl, what's her behavior like, what does she like, what does she does dislikes, okay? What is her fun like, okay? So you don't just go into a relationship and you want to go from point A to point Z just like that because you are so much in love with this girl. No, take your time to know her. Who is she? Study her, okay? Go beyond just seeing her and you want to rush, rush, rush. No, speed kills, okay? Accidents on the road about to happen if you are speeding all right so let's go to number three my number three is lack of knowledge some guys lack knowledge about relationship they don't know what they're getting themselves into so myself let, let me take myself as an example when i was single young girl okay when i was in the high institution i was attending any type of dating and courtship seminar that comes around even in our church i will attend because i knew that i would get married somewhere someday and i did not want to miss any opportunity to, to gain knowledge about relationship so I'm advising young girl young guys to to get into um, relationship uh, seminars I register for it and there are some resources online some good resources that you can listen to and you gain some knowledge no knowledge is a waste okay I'll uh, see you have mentors okay some married couples that are really really good that are doing marriage right that have the basic foundations that is required to keep it going you can use them as mentors you can befriend them ask questions get clarifications okay our uh, parents might not be the best because sometimes they will not tell you the reality of things Things because they have some uh, maybe some protections to do along the way some cover-ups to do and again sometimes their marriages are outdated it's not today's jet light type of pay, uh, marital relationship you know because things are going too fast these days the internet and everything else going on that wasn't in our parents time so give, getting a lot of advice from them might not be applicable to today's marriage so let's operate at the time we are living in okay so again do not miss any opportunity to get counsel any opportunity to get the seminar any opportunity to go to even um uh having to, to talk to your pastor one-on-one -on -one. clear your mind ask questions before you go into a relationship because sometimes it will get too hot and too confusing that's why some guys will jump back out because they did not expect that to happen so again what am i saying get knowledge get education get enlightened about relationship before you even get into it all right so my number four is lack of romance lack of fire not being romantic some guys are so boring to this and the girl will not even be able to stand them if you are the type that is boring please 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 learn how to be romantic talk to this girl woo her make her happy make her giggle make her laugh make her long to be with you you cannot be with a girl and she's using another guy as a chat mate as a, a, a gist mate and you are there you should be able to occupy that space for her make her smile even do some special things some simple things in a very special way even some girls just it's not about my uh, gift 
It's not about money, but there are certain things, basic things you have to do that will make her happy. Taste her some sweet things, tell her some sweet things, make her feel special. Girls like attention. Trust me, we do. Women like attention generally. So make sure you give her 100% attention. If she's trying to talk to you, listen to her. Even conversations you think doesn't make sense, but listen to her and reason along, okay? So make her feel special is number one. Every girl will like that, okay? So my number five, it's lack of control. Any guy that, that lacks control, girls don't like them. Most girls don't like them. Let me not say all the girls, but most girls will, will not like them. When I say self-control, it's sexual urges. You cannot control your libido. You know, you're, every time you want to mount, you want to squeeze, you want to touch, you want to kiss. No, that's not nice. That's not one of the priorities in a, during dating and courtship. You shouldn't even think about that until you have done all that you're supposed to do, all the marital rights that you have, you're supposed to have done them before you even jump to sexual relationship with that person. Okay. So what am I saying? Control yourself, no matter the urge you have, no matter how you feel, no matter what is shaking your body, jiggy, jiggy, jiggy. please try to control it. Because if you don't, some girls, this will be unacceptable. They'll be like, uh -uh. if he cannot control himself like this, what about if I'm not there? Is he going to be the type that will be sleeping with my house girl or maybe sleeping with people at work or maybe people are there? He cannot control himself. Uh -uh, what is this now? So you're going to make that girl feel uncomfortable and most girls will leave if you cannot apply ordinary self-control, sexual control. So I'm not saying it's easy to do, especially for guys, but again, you got to, you got to try knowing fully well that the package you're trying to pinch, there'll be time you will boldly open it and consume it. So why pinching it to steal from it? Okay. So hold yourself. Hold yourself very, very tightly. Apply um, self-denial, self-restraint, celibacy. I mean, there are things you can do. Self-control, restrain yourself. You can do this. It's doable. And again, ask God to help you if you're not able to do it on your own. All right. So number six, <laughs> lack of confidence. I'm encouraging guys. So please, before you approach a girl, be comfortable, be confident within yourself. You cannot approach a girl if you cannot talk to this girl. You are shaking. You don't know what to say. When you go there, you become confused. You forget everything you have already thought about telling her because you're not comfortable within yourself. You lack the confidence. I will tell you to practice, practice, practice how to talk to girl. Some I have seen people go to the mirror, they practice, their body language, their smile, their teeth is all clean and whitened because they want to talk to this girl. They want to woo her. You want this girl to feel like you're confident within yourself. If you go there and you start panicking, you start shaking. Trust me, this girl is going to walk away because she will be like, ah, ah, this one that cannot even talk to me. How is he going to approach me? They will leave you and go. So please make sure you, you have that confidence within yourself that yes, you're ready for the equal to the task and you can do it, okay? So my number seven, this honesty. This honesty can come in different uh, shapes and forms, okay? It can come to, uh, in form of the guy presenting himself uh, as somebody who he's not. You go over there, you're pretending to be working in this company, have this money, riding this car, doing this, living in this uh, location, and you know that you are not. And you go there impressing that girl. You go and borrow a car to go and visit her. You invite her in somebody's apartment, somebody else's apartment that is not yours and you're claiming it's yours. No, let this girl know who you are. If she wants to be with you, she will be with you just the way you are. You cannot borrow yourself out of relationship. It will never work out for you because women are naturally FBI. She will know. You will get caught. So why doing it in the first place? If you are able to afford keke to go to a date, take that keke and go and pick her. Be proud of who you are. Do not pretend. If you're able to take her to Mama Put, it's okay if that's what you can afford. Do not go to a restaurant and you, your, your mind will be pounding if she wants to order something because you know you don't have money in your pocket or you borrow from your friends and they'll be threatening you to pay back. 
So it's good for you to, to present yourself just the way you are. If she wants to be with you, she will be. If you are living in a face me, face me a compound. She, if she wants to stay with you, she will stay with you. People grow. People grow. And, and don't limit yourself that, oh, this is where I am. It's going to be forever. There is a chance. There is always opportunity to grow. So that's why you have to have a goal in life. Where are you heading to? Where am I today? It's not my permanent place okay we are finally going to move to the permanent site okay if you have that faith and plan and you walk towards it let this girl know who you are and what your plans are do not marry a girl because of what you will gain that's another type of dishonesty girls find out maybe the parents have some money or maybe she has a good job and you want to hook up yourself because you're looking at the benefit at large it's not good now be who you are okay so marry that person because you love her not because of your personal benefit it's not going to work how about if the benefit you think is there is not there then love don't crash you okay so another one my, my number eight is prolonged engagement some guys will come and occupy space in a girl's life moving forward they're not moving forward leave them they're not leaving them they're just there they cannot do the next thing, okay? They cannot see the parents. They are not uh, doing traditional court or church. They are just there occupying her space, wasting her time. And another guy who could have married this girl would think, okay, somebody is already there. Let me go somewhere else. It's not there. Now you're delaying her. You're occupying her space. It's not good. When once this girl knows that you have no intention of marrying her, it's been years after years, you have no plan, nothing. This girl is going to leave you. She will dump you. Okay, if she decides to stay there, she's just waiting for the next person to approach her. When once a reasonable person approaches her, she's going to dump you with a heartbeat just like that, and she's going to move on. Okay, so that's why it's good to have a game plan. If you're not ready to get married, do not approach any girl. Approach a girl when you're ready for the task, when you're ready to move to the next level. Don't date a girl for years after years and you're still there, stagnant, nothing is going. No, don't kill somebody's daughter's time. It's not fair, okay? So be strategic before you approach a girl. My number nine, but not the least, lack of comp lack of uh, stability, you know, and lack of security. Let me use those words interchangeably. Some guys are not even stable on their own. They don't have a job. They don't have a place they stay in. They don't have anything they can call their own and they want to carry somebody's daughter and put on and put on that situation. It's not good now. So make sure you are stable. You have a job. You have income no matter how little. So this girl can work with you with what you have. Do not carry somebody's girl when you have not even figured out your own life and you want to carry somebody's life and put there. And again, this girl wants to feel secured around you. Just in case anything happens, you will be like, okay, yes, my man will be able to protect me. Even some crazy family members try to attack her. She will have that confidence in you that you are there to secure her to protect her to fight for her okay when once a girl knows that you are not stable and you cannot secure her she is not going to be in that relationship with you so these are the basic things you have to put in place before you even get into a relationship or why you are in that relationship you try to fix all these things if you don't have them all in place it's not going to work out properly. It might, but it's not going to give you a better chance of getting to where you want to be with a girl that you love. All right. Thank you guys for listening to another beautiful edition of Annie Otter's channel. Please, I will really, really love you to subscribe to my channel and also give me a thumb up that you love what I have said. I love you guys. See you later. Bye. I love you. I love you. I love you. Bye guys.